Hello, and in today's video, we're going to continue the Flight Hub 2 series by showing how to easily share a project with other people that have enterprise drones. This is great for when you have projects that multiple people need to work on, or even if you're just borrowing a drone from someone else and need to get your projects onto that quickly without logging out of their account. It's actually very easy to do when you know where to go, but the option takes a bit of finding, so I thought I'd put this quick tutorial together to show you how to do it. Let's start by opening Flight Hub 2 by going to fh.dji.com and then enter the project that you want to share by clicking on the square icon with the arrow in it. Once you're in the project, click on the project settings icon in the bottom left. It's the little document with the cog on it. You can add people here by clicking on the plus add member link, but there's an easier way. Above that, you'll see an option that says join project with code and by default that is set to disabled. Click on that and toggle it to on. The switch will move right and turn blue. When you do that, a code will appear and also an option for an expiration date. The expiration date is great for something where you want to let someone join, but only access that for a period of time. One warning about that though, when you share a mission with people, they can download the missions to the controller and that's out of your control. You can edit the code if you want to create your own code, but it's limited to exactly six characters, so you can't do anything too fancy. You're now ready to share this with anyone by sending them two pieces of information. The project ID, which you can see in the top left, and the project code that is now displayed. Once they have that information, users can join the project by entering the project ID and code in the organization management section of DJI Flight Hub 2, or via the cloud service in DJI Pilot 2, and I'll show both of those. Let's start with how to do it in Pilot 2. Give the project ID and code to the person you want to have access to the project. Have them open Pilot 2 on the controller, click on Cloud Service, and then click on Flight Hub 2. They can then press the Join Project button and enter the project ID and code you provided, and then click OK. It will ask for a call sign, which is how they will be identified as members in your project, and then they can click Join. They will then automatically be logged in on the controller. Now, when they go into the cloud tab of the flight route area, they will have access to all of the flight routes in that library. Now let's show you the same thing on Flight Hub 2. Again, give the project ID and code to whoever you are sharing the project with and have them log into Flight Hub 2 in the usual way. Once they are logged in, they can click on their user ID in the top right and select My Organization from the drop down. Now they can click on the Join Project button, enter the two pieces of information provided, and click Next. As before, they will enter the call sign they want to be known as in this project. And then once in, they have access to all of the assets in that project. On your project settings area, they will now show as a temporary member and you can remove them by clicking on the red circle with the minus sign in it. And that's it. Quite easy to do and definitely something that is handy for people running teams that need to share jobs. Anyway, that's it for another video. As always, I love to hear from you, so feel free to leave a comment or a question and I'll see you in the next video.